Hello, Leo. Welcome to your mid-May reading. Hope y'all are doing well. So this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo. All right, let's take a look at the energy coming into the reading. What's influencing that energy? Recent past? What's on your mind? Why is it all going down mid-May? What will you experience in the near future? How you see yourself? Who or what's in your environment coming in that you don't see? Hopes and fears? What's your outcome? And we're also going to use a separate deck to clarify. So we're going to open up this bad bleep, bleep, bleep of a reading. All right, Leo, let's get to work and find out what you need to know. If this one doesn't hit, check out your moon or your rising sign. If you're new here, welcome. Let me know down in the comments if this is your first time stopping by. And if you're returning, thank you for all of your support and beautiful energy. All right, coming in, what do we got? The Chariot. Major Arcana for Cancer, so you could be connecting with a Cancerian. This is good old water uber on this channel. We're moving on. Moving on, but we're headed towards success and victory, overcoming some obstacles. What's influencing that energy, Leo? The Justice card. Now we've got Libra showing up to the party. All right, Libra and Cancer, what's up in Leo's reading? We're going to find out. So making choices or decisions to bring balance feels like you're really coming into this reading, Leo, overcoming some obstacles, regaining control straight ahead, right, towards success because of some sort of balance that's going to be restored here in your life. What's on your mind? The Nine of Swords. You got some worries. You got some air energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I had to cover mine because, well, censorship apparently on YouTube. But on your mind is some anxiety and worry, maybe some sleepless nights, maybe even some fear, but it's getting you moving in the right direction. What happened in the recent past five of pentacles, somebody went cold or icy. Maybe you did this to someone. This is leaving someone out in the cold, not returning messages. This could be also financial instability. That might be why that worry is on your mind as well. So feeling like you can't pay the bills. I mean, I get it. It happens, right? It's happening a lot. But this is dissolute in some way, feeling like you're not part of a group or, again, feeling that icy feeling. But, again, it can be, you know, some sort of financial instability as well. Why is it all going down mid-May? Four of Wands, stability is going to be restored here. This is why everything's happening mid-May. So this is celebrations. Here's your fire energy, Leo Sagittarius. But that Four of Wands is happiness. Something's coming in to celebrate. Could be a new relationship, taking a relationship to the next level. For some of you, you have felt iced out. But with justice coming in, that's the universe saying, hey, things are going to level out. And it's all because of some sort of new beginning, some sort of abundance coming. Those of you in the next couple of weeks that are invited out or to a party, some sort of festivity, definitely go. You might even be traveling to do that as well. I think a lot of you are worried or stressed out about how to pay for something here, though. Coming into the near future, what will you experience? Yeah, travel, six of swords. It doesn't have to be physical travel, but it can. I mean, the six of swords, those swords are your mental energy. This is getting on to a better place. This is leaving troubles behind, getting out of your head. Because we see with that nine of swords, you're worried about something, Leo. But that seems to calm down coming into the near future. And again, it's because justice is influencing everything. And again, you know, justice says things are going to be okay. What's going on with you? How do you see yourself? Page of Wands, Leo Sag Aries. You might be waiting on some good news. Page of Wands is communicating, but he's bringing good news. He's got a zest for life, though. He's Look at him. He's exploring something with passion. So moving towards something, starting to take action. Again, there's your fire energy, Leo. Feels like hard times here and really in your head about it, but you're not going to let it keep you down. And it does feel like really the universe has your back. What, what or who's in your environment coming in? The two of wands, another card of travel. If you're traveling or you're trying to make plans to travel, it could even be months ahead. But this is the energy of, you know, getting it all together or thinking about it. You've got a lot of travel cards here. That might be what you're stressed out about. In your environment, you've got the world. She's holding the world. And it's about a decision. Do I go left? Do I go right? Which way do I go? I'm, a, I'm at a crossroads here about the path that I want to go down. Choices and decisions, right? And again, some of you, it's a move also or a new relationship, taking it to the next level. What's going on in your hopes or fears? Eight of cups. You might be afraid somebody is leaving you behind. 
You may be hoping to leave things behind, and it doesn't have to just be a person, Leo. That Eight of Cups says, something is not fulfilling me emotionally, and so I know I need to move in order to bring in that stability and that abundance. What's your outcome? What do we got? The Knight of Pentacles. If you are worried about money, the rest of May looks good. It's going to move slowly, but the Knight of Pentacles, look at all the green. It literally reminds me of money. We've got Taurus or Virgo energy. Now, again, the knights are in pursuit. The knight of pentacles just moves slowly. He's at kind of at a standstill because he's cautious, careful. It's all about success and future. So it feels like there's some sort of money offer or you figure out a way to pay for something here. And you're going to celebrate the hell out of it with the four of wands. Some of you in relationships... <clears throat> I feel like moving this here, so I'm going to. Some of you in relationships are, again, you've been kind of stressed out about moving something to the next level. That could be with that four of wands there, moving in together, or again, taking something to the next level. And you might be worried or stressed out about money to pay for something together as well. All right, well, let's do this. I'm going to use the Everyday Witch Tarot to clarify your reading, Leo. Now, if you like this deck, comment below and uh, let me know if you want to enter the drawing May 30th. I'm going to randomly pick someone to enter. All you got to do is comment below that you want to enter the drawing. And uh, yeah, the Everyday Witch Tarot, you're going to get this exact deck that I'm going to send. And yeah. Um, it's just a way to say thank you for my six years uploading readings here on YouTube. So let me know below if you want to enter the drawing. Also, keep in mind your May general reading and your extended reading. Those are also going to be linked below in the comment section and in the description box. All right, Leo, let's do it. You, me, and the Everyday Witch Tarot, we're doing it. Leo, Sun, Moon, <laughs> Rising, Venus... What does mid-May look like? Big, big decisions are coming in here. Again, if you're thinking about traveling, I think you should do it. It looks good. I know it seems like it's taking a while. And with that Knight of Pentacles in your outcome, a little more to go, but it's still coming. It's You're in pursuit of it, and it's, it's coming your way. Also, too, uh, love looks good. Even if you're single, it feels like there's a relationship coming in or more stability in a current connection. What's this chariot coming into the reading for Leo? Yeah, look, there's justice again. Balance, sign of Libra. Again, you've got justice and justice. So this is finally something going your way. And with again, with that chariot here, that's movement because you're able to overcome some sort of obstacle and move towards success. Now, again, you're going to have a decision to make. How do you move towards the success? Justice is also influencing this energy. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles, beautiful. Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Completion with the ten. This is good money. This is like coming into money. This is a lump sum of money. Taking a job where you're going to get more money. But it's also building a relationship. And it's not just wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. This is marital energy here. Somebody here, and let me know in the comments below, you guys are contemplating, um, like moving in together, getting engaged, getting married, something like that. You've been worried and stressed about it. And I think for some of you, it's how to pay for this. Others of you, this is like a trip or a vacation you're thinking about taking. I love that justice is here twice because this is the universe saying, yep, it's coming. Finally, what happened in the recent past? Five of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Again, keep in mind, those knights are moving. They're travelers of the deck. And they are in pursuit. You may have thought about doing something impulsively, right? Like, that's it. If we don't move in together, get married, or buy a dog, I'm out of here. I don't want to be in this relationship or this connection anymore, right? There could have been some drama around this feeling as though, again, you were being left out in the cold or you were getting the cold shoulder in some way. So I think there was a talk or there was energy about this kind of like hasty, maybe a had an argument or you said something you didn't want to say after you thought about it, something like that. But you felt cold. You felt icy. Others of you, again, you were thinking about making some sort of impulsive move here when it comes to your finances, and then maybe you regretted it. 
what's on your mind, you're worried, nine of swords, four of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, there's that emotion and love. The four of cups is feeling like, man, I'm not going to get it. I feel rejected. I feel like I'm not getting what I want. I don't want these damn three cups. And little guy here with another cup, I don't want your cup either. So it's feeling as though emotionally speaking, you're not going to get something you want. You could have been turned down in the past for something and, you know, you kind of just are worried about it. You're thinking about it late at night, laying in your bed or on your couch. What's this, what's this four of wands? This is why it's all happening, Leo. Four of wands, why are you here? There's that chariot again. You're getting a lot of repetitive energy, big energy. Again, major arcana for cancer. This is travel forward, movement here, success. I'm telling y'all, if you're thinking about buying a home or traveling, make the decision to do it. Even if you have to save a penny a week, do it because it looks like it comes in for you. Or even moving forward to maybe a job where like you're going to make more money, where you don't have to work five jobs to pay for groceries. There's some sort of success and victory here, and there's going to be a cause to celebrate. Others of you are going to be, you are going to travel. That means you're traveling mid-May, but you're making the decision. You're getting it all together here, and it's going to be a good time. Some of you are traveling for a wedding, something like that. You are freaking out about how to pack or how to how to bring that extra cash. Again, I don't blame you. Coming into the near future, you're going to experience the Six of Swords. Ooh, with the Seven of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Really reflecting, reflecting on how to move forward and leave this bleep, bleep, bleep behind and clear your mind. That Seven of Pentacles is taking stock of a situation. It's like, yeah, I did it. Right? But I'm going to be cautious. I'm going to kind of pull back and wait here a little bit. You know, again, maybe on your spending or, um, you know, buying that home, something like that, perhaps even traveling or this relationship that we see here. What's the Seven of Pentacles? Why is this coming in for good old Leo? Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> yeah. Nine of Swords. Yeah, you're you're worried about it. And I think it's like the the speed of something because that Seven of Pentacles is very slow energy because you've got to really reflect on something. And the more you wait, the more you reflect, the more freaked out and worried you get. Again, no judgment here. But I love that the Four of Wands and the Chariots in the Foundation, because ultimately this is going to be some sort of success you're moving towards. But, you know, with the good times and the celebration comes some anxiety. How do you see yourself, mid-May? Page of Wands, that's you. It is. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. I'm going to be cautious. I'm not going to base decisions on emotions as Leo, right? I got to think about my career, my money. You know, I'm being very practical. And with that page of wands, you're exploring with the page of wands on how to do that and how to set yourself up for success for the future, not just with your career and finances, but also with love and relationships. You're not messing around. I like it. Why is the queen of pentacles how you see yourself? The magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. I got all the tools I need, says Leo. I can manifest. I can use the law of attraction, right? And that magician will use what he or she has in order to make something happen. So this is all about determination and stability, and it's a very magnetic energy, and it is very capable and powerful to create whatever it is you want here. You're strong and powerful the rest of May, and I'm here for it. Who or what's in your environment? You've got the two of wands. What's this decision? The star, something you really want. And I'm telling you, it's coming in. You've got Aquarius energy now. This is like, yeah, I could do that. I've got faith that this can happen, right? I can also use all the tools I have to manifest. I'm pointing to the sky. I've picked the star, and that's what I want, and that's what I'm going for. The two of wands in this deck's a little bit different. While you are at a crossroads and you're just kind of sitting there trying to make a decision, you've got the world. The world is huge and it's ultimately reaching a goal. It's success, some sort of milestone here. And you're going right towards it with the star. Beautiful. Why is the star coming in for Leo? Some of you have an Aquarius around you. The hermit, another major arcana. So now we've got Virgo. You might even be a Leo Virgo cusper. But that hermit is very wise, but very slow, very cautious, very careful energy. Who's going camping? Someone's going camping. Some of you, this stability and happiness, this travel, this forward movement, you might even be doing it solo or like maybe just with like one friend or something. 
and you're kind of you, you are like a little bit worried about it, not just how to pay for it, but also you know doing something that you've never done before and doing it solo, whether that's traveling or going out on your own and starting a business or a side hustle of some sort. It's very um, this reading is very inspiring, inspirational, inspiring, whatever you know what I'm saying. What's going on in your hopes or fears? You've got the eight of cups. This is like, see ya, I'm out. Things have not been fulfilling me, so I'm going to move towards something else here or a new beginning in some sort of connection. Got the eight of cups with the hanged man, Pisces energy. But let me just wait around and kind of make sure I'm doing everything right first. I need to kind of see things in a new perspective with the hanged man. Some of you guys are just leaving people and situations at, at a stalemate. You're like, nope, it's not for me. See you later. I'm out. And there's a few of you, this is an ultimatum in a relationship, but I feel like <clears throat> the person comes around and is like, yeah, okay, I want to build a future. Let's move in together. Let's buy a dog. Let's buy a hamster. Let's do this. Let's build. But you're thinking about putting someone on hold here if they don't get it together. And who could blame you? What's your outcome? You've got the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo. Taurus energy. Why is this Knight of Pentacles Leo's outcome mid-May? Woo, the tower. The tower's here. So Scorpio, major arcana. It's a bang. It's a boom. It's happening. This could even be a surprise, right? Some sort of shocking event. When that tower shows up, everything's leveled so that you can rebuild. But it has to do with the Knight of Pentacles. I think for some of you, there's been a connection, a relationship that's moved slowly. Somebody's you know, stepping up and, you know, it's kind of that energy of like, what are you talking about, Leo? Of course I want to be with you. I know I've been moving slowly, but here, take my cupcake. Let's go buy a farm together. I don't know. Let's build a future. And with the Knight of Pentacles, it's it's taking its time. But that Knight of Pentacles, remember, the Pentacles are about the future and success and stability. It's just very cautious and careful. And it's going to shock the hell out of you with the tower, right? I don't think you're expecting this person to uh, be on the same page. Also, some of you are coming into some money unexpectedly, and it's going to help you with something here. You're really trying to manifest, travel, a move, something like that. Why is the tower coming in? Ooh, look who's showing up. It's you, daddy with a wand, whether you're female or male, king of wands, Leo energy. This is, yeah, I got my mojo back. I'm bossing up. I'm taking action. Some of you are connecting with another fire sign, but that le that king of wands energy is really just somebody who is making the move. They're finally taking action and you know where you stand with that king of wands energy, right? They're, you're not going to be guessing with that person with what they want. You've got the three of wands, you've got the three of swords. So something to do with, you know, forming some sort of an agreement Finally, something where you thought you were going to be left disappointed, maybe you were disappointed in the past, is finally coming home with that three of wands. That three of wands is I've picked what I want, the direction I may, be, I may have even networked, researched, seen what's out there. I've been waiting and here it's finally coming in. And the three of swords actually came out before it. So I think that that's what you're afraid of. That's where you've been with that three of swords is that disappointment, right? Some of you, it's with a person because you thought this wasn't going to go anywhere. Finally, they're coming around. Think, plans are being made here. And for others of you, again, it's just something that you really, really want. You want to do something for yourself. And it could be because you've been heartbroken. Maybe you've gone through a bad breakup or something like that. This is very much energy of it's time for me, says Leo. I've been a little bit stuck. I've been waiting for this to happen. The universe is about to reward you, and I think it's plentiful, right? You're going to have the money to do something here that you want. And again, others of you in a relationship, somebody's kind of turning things around here. I think things end up a lot differently, different, differently, y'all. I've been out of college a while, but I promise I did go. Different, differently. Things are turning out in a way that you just weren't expecting, right? And I think it's actually good news. You're waiting on good news. King of Swords, some of you, it's an Aquarius, or it's somebody that's just about to speak their damn truth, right? Cutting out the unnecessary, giving you the truth. This person, if this is hitting for love for y'all, this person seems like maybe they've been a little cold, a little icy. You've had a hard time getting them to open up with their emotions, not really sure where they stand. 
And I just feel like that that's just how they are, right? Maybe they have a hard time communicating, but they want it. All of this energy is really on board with, yeah, what what are you talking about, Leo? Of course I want these things with you, right? They say, I don't know why I'm getting that this person seems a little bit bewildered. And I also feel like that's why that towers in the outcome. I think part of that is their energy, that shock and awe that you, you know, you're either contemplating leaving or you're thinking that they don't want to be with you or, or something like that. I love this though, for even for people who, you know, this isn't hitting for love. I love this because it just feels like it's something you really want is finally starting to manifest and happen. And again, I do think for some of you, it's to buy a new home or to travel, something like that. You're, but you're doing it. You're making it happen. You're turning lemon into lemonade, Leo. You are. All right, you guys, don't forget to comment below. Please like the video. Share the video to your social media platforms. Do all that good stuff. It really does help my channel in more ways than you could imagine. Leave your comments below and don't forget to let me know if you want to win this Everyday Witch Tarot deck. Is that right? Yeah, Everyday Witch. All right, Leo, guess what? I love you guys hard. Love me hard back and we'll speak soon. Take care.